Hi friends, in this video we are going to create a printing website. As you can see this is the website which we are created and you can print all type of customized product from this website like t-shirt, uh, cups, keychains, pens and the cartoon boxes etc with the help of this website and the customer can come to our website and they can customize a product and they can just take the give the order and we can just take the print and we can deliver to the customer and you can see when a customer chooses a product he need to log in with the google or facebook account or they can log in with their username or password and once they log in they can start to edit the product as you are seeing in the video a customer can edit the products on the product page itself and they can add some images textures etc here customer can add their logos and they can resize and they can position the logo to a particular place and they can resize it they can add some textures and they can change the basic colors etc see as this is a demo website so we are just doing for demo purpose only and they can add some testers and you can add some designs but this is a demo website so we are not adding any designs and the customer can directly print out their designs from here and they can zoom in zoom out also customer can enter the QR code or they can enter the QR code and place it on the particular product this is for a t-shirt uh, but we can add the cartoon boxes etc so if you are giving a cartoon boxes the customer can design and give and you can just print out the designs to the cartoon boxes and the customer can choose the color customer can choose the basic colors here and lot of options are available on this website so you can just try it after watching this video once a customer places an order they can just save and do add to cart and customer can go to the cart option view cart and click on proceed to checkout once they complete the checkout the customer have two options of payment once they can advance the payment for a small amount over 10 percentage or 15 percentage whatever you think or they can fully paid with the credit card or debit card so cod cash on delivery is not available for this website and this is not safe for this type of website because when we added some product and the customer did not accept it it will be a loss okay okay guys once they complete the checkout process you can pay with the upa code qr code etc all these things you can add on our website once they complete every we receive an order we can see the order here now we can print take the printout of this particular order and you can choose the particular design you can just download the particular design itself here and you can see a basic export option is available so if you want the complete product image you can just print out that if you gave the print and you can just take the print out and the single element option is there so you can just take the print of the single element and you can just copy it on your printing machine you can just download this particular image 
and you can just print it on your t-shirt or whatever the customer gave the order so you can just print it on that particular product and you can see a printing printer is available on amazon for this amount and you can start your printing business very early very easily you can see a lot of you can print the cups t-shirts etc with this machine and you can see here you can adjust the time temperature here on this machine and you can adjust the heat and you can take a t-shirt here and you can place the sublimation paper and you can take the print out here and your t-shirt is now printed like this you can print the cups keychain etc here okay so now we can go to the video and check how we can create the website so before that i will show the cartoon box packing box. so we can also design that also with this website this is a simple cartoon box a customer can add some images here you can up upload any type of quality images and customer can select the size of the cartoon box here there is a size for the cartoon box so you can add each images for the particular sizes actually this is a demo website so not we are going to add all these things but when you are creating your own business website you can just include all these things okay guys also you can just uh, print the visiting cards customer can design the uh, visiting cards uh, our website itself and they can take the print out and you can just add everything and you can see the mobile version of this website it's completely mobile friendly so the customer can use like an android app they can just use from their mobile phone and they can design everything without any problem okay once they click on add to cart and they can complete the checkout like on the computer they can just use that and they can use the payment method and complete the checkout so in order to create the uh, this website first you need a domain and hosting so just by a domain domain means a website name and hosting means the space for keeping all the files for our website and go to the hostinger and you can choose a web hosting plan choose a premium plan and because the low cost plans are very buggy and lot of problems it's very slow down slow and lot of problems are there so you can use the premium web hosting and you can just check out the time length you can choose the time length here choose for 12 months that's a good option and you can choose the option uh, time length future once you complete the checkout uh, take the plans you can just select the payment and you can complete the checkout here okay guys like this you can also check the domain also and you can just add a domain name and you can search if the domain is available you can just purchase it and sometimes you will get an offer also so this is your control panel when you buy a hosting and you can you will get all these details on your email so click on auto installer and click on wordpress and you can install wordpress on your website and you can choose your website title and the admin credential etc and just click on install and you can install all these things 
and this is your demo default website so you can go to your appearance and you can just add a free theme just click on add new and upload uh, add new and you can just add Bloski theme just search it on your theme directory and it's totally free you can just install that theme on your website just click on install and wait for some time to get installed all the themes here once the theme is installed you can just click on activate and you can see the starter site option is available so you can just go to the home site and click on install Bloxy companion it's a plugin along with the theme so just install that also it's totally free and you can see your dashboard itself and go to the starter site section you can also customize everything from here but just go to the starter site section and you can import a demo for your website instead of starting from the scratch you can just import a demo here choose the modern shop and elementor click on next and you can choose the elementor page builder click on next and you can install the demo here and wait for some time to get uh, installed the demo on your website and once everything is completed you can you go to your website and you can see the changes here okay guys our demo is imported successfully so you can customize everything so just click on customize and on the customize option you can change the header footer logo etc so you can just click on customize and you can add some logo for your website click on the header section and go to the logo section and you can upload a new background logo and you can adjust the size of the logo here the logo height you can adjust that and you can also enable site title site tagline etc if you want once you complete that just click on publish and your logo has been changed like this you can change all the details on the header section now we can enable the recreate click click on there and you can just recreate it and you can just click on save changes and you can also regenerate the css and the library option etc and click on save changes again go to your website and you can just refresh and just click on edit with elementor to edit the front page and like this you can edit all the pages of our demo website just click on edit with elementor now you can edit the background images and all the sections by just clicking on there you can see the left hand side a column will appear and you can just select and you can edit it's super simple editing with the elementor you can change the background images click on edit section click on style and here you can just change the images and make sure it's a high quality image when you are uploading a banner you can add beautiful images and just click on insert media and you can edit or you can add some things you can change the demo content and you can change all this demo content you can change you can if you don't want a particular section you can just edit that once you complete that just click on update and you can see how to make a WooCommerce page accessible for logged in users only so this thing is we want to enable on our website so you have to copy the code from our website the link for 
the code i will give on the description box below you can just the code from there and just copy the code and paste it on your function.php of your theme file so just go to your wordpress dashboard and click on appearance click on theme file editor and you can go to the theme file editor here just click on there and you can edit the function.php just click on understand and now you can paste that particular code here and you can just update the file so when a visitor come to your website if they are not logged in the need to log in to edit and view the product now we can enable the social login for our website so just click on the social login on your wordpress directory just install this plugin as you are seeing in the video it's a free plugin you can just install and activate once the plugin is activated you need a premium add-on for this plugin so you can just upload that also the link for that plugin i will give on the description box below these things are optional you can uh, add or if you need you can just use that so just install this thing and install now and once you activated the plugin you can go to the plugin settings and you can enable the social login for your website so just go to the settings area and you can see the social login and here you can enable the facebook google twitter whatever things you need you can just enable that now you can just click on getting started and here you can go to the console.developer.google and you can go to the link and you can log in with your google account and here you can create a project and you can add a project name and you can create your new project and just click on create project once you create the project you can just go to the publish option you can see the select project option here once the project is created click on select project and you can go to the domain verification or auth consent screen click on there click on external click on create and you can just add the app name and the support email logo etc all these things you can add as on the description along with that column you can just use this and you can add your domain name and all this if you are using subdomain use the main domain and you can add your email address and click on save and continue and here you can add or remove scopes you don't need to do anything here just save and continue and you can see the final summary here now you can back to the dashboard and just click on publish app click on confirm now go to the credentials section and just click on create credentials here you can see the client id click on there and you can choose the application type now we are using as a web application you can just choose that and you can give a client name and you can add your url here and the otherwise redirect url you can just see it from your plugin itself so just copy that and you can just paste it on the section and you can just click on create now you will get a client id and client secret you can just copy and paste it on your website and on your plugin settings so 
the Google sign in is enabled on your website. So just click on the settings area of your plugin and choose the client ID, choose the client secret and click on paste and click on save changes. Okay, your configuration needs to be verified. Just click on the verify settings. And once the works fine and everything is verified, you can just enable. And now the Google sign in is enabled on your website. You can check the all the global settings and like you can design, re redesign everything here. It's super simple. You can change according to your requirements, everything. You can see the WooCommerce option here. You can choose the button style, login form, register form, billing layout, and all these things you can be changed here and click on save changes. And you can see the Google is now available on our website. Like this you can also enable Facebook so you can we can go to the plugin settings and you can just you enable the Facebook login for our website okay now just click on the getting started on the Facebook option and here you can go to the this link and for the developer dot Facebook dot app and you can choose a, a create app and click on consumer click on next and here you can add the details and just click on create app and your app dashboard is enabled now just click on the facebook login section click on setup now here you can set up you can choose a, a application type add your site to url click on save click on continue click on next click on next next then you can go to your basic settings of facebook login and you can enable all these options like client login and web auth login force web authentication all these things you can enable and you can go to the you can just copy the redirect url of facebook login and you can paste it here on your dashboard of your app and you can just select the redirect url to check and all these things and click on settings click on basics here you can see the client id and client secret everything but before that you have to fill all these details and your data privacy policy links times conditions app icon etc now on the app mode section you can just change the development to live here as you are seeing in the video you can just change that and you can just copy the app id and app secret once you are done everything just click on the show option and you can just copy these two things here app id and app secret just copy that and paste it on your plugin settings just copy and paste it on your plugin settings right click on save changes now you can verify the settings click on the verify settings and once everything is verified you can just enable this option also and now you can go to your my account area of your wordpress and you can see the changes you can see everything which we are done okay now guys we can go to uh, plugin section and you can upload a plugin for the cash on delivery and this is a premium add-on for the cash on delivery you can enable lot of cash on delivery options or you can just upload the plugin the link for all these things i will give on the description box below you can just get it from there now go to the woocommerce settings area 
click on payment and you can see the cash on delivery option is available here just enable that or click on finish setup and here from here you can just enable that and you can change the title description instructions enable for shipping method etc you can change all these details according to your business model you can add all these things here change the title of cash on delivery into advance payment once you have done that click on save changes go to the restrictions area and you can disable all these options according to your requirements or your business model you can just disable the specific pin codes and all these things you can just enable or disable that and the extra fees option you, if you want to enable a extra fees for a particular pin code a particular amount all these things you can enable that here and the risk free cod section is available so this is a very good option for our website so you can just enable that you can just enable that you can add some rule for this particular option and you can add the advance payment so a customer can use the advance fee amount at a particular percentage and the remaining amount should be on the cash on delivery time once you have that done that you can just click or click on the save changes option now you can see the advance payment is available on our website okay guys everything works fine now go to the plugin section again and the basic feature of our website is going to enable so just upload this premium plugin you can see the fancy product designer you can install and activate this plugin you can just activate the plugin once you installed click on activate and you can see the template library here you can import all the free options to our website and different kinds of products are available so you can just upload all this uh, just import all the free options like hoodies or everything you can just import that this is some kind of 3d model so you can just create duplicate and you can add your own products with this template right you can import the phone cases caps etc here also you can see the demos option and you can just download the business card and you can import whatever things you need you can just import that and you can just add to your website once you are done that you can start editing all these products so go to the product builder option and now our product page is loading here you can just adjust the editing options like the editing area you can change the color and you can add some images you can add the textures 
and all these things you can just define here in the we can enable the ruler option and the mask options printing box you can resize the printing box so the customer can select that particular area only when they use to edit once everything has been completed you can click on save changes and if you want to delete a particular section you can just delete from here and you can see the front option back option of a product so this is a t-shirt so you can see the front and back option of the t-shirt or if you have more positions like upside downside then you can add that also here so in order to do that you can just go to the product option and you can just create a new product and i will show how to do that you can just duplicate a particular product here from here and you can give a product title if you are going to add a cartoon box you can just choose that and now just click on ok and the cartoon box is available now now go to the product builder option now you can see the product builder option is on our, your website so you can just delete the you can first you have to choose the cartoon box section here and you can see here just choose there and delete the demo images for the duplicate image which we are just imported and you can click on image section here you can give a name front and click on ok you can upload an image like this you can add the front image back image you can just adjust the printing box section you can just scroll down everything here once you can once you are done that you can just readjust everything and you can just add the back side image here before that once you make any changes make sure to click on the save view option then only the changes will be take place and now you can see the view, view options here all these things you can check it on your website it's super simple you can enable or disable everything and you can see the changes right You can add some custom image price if a customer wants to add some custom images you can just add that price for that particular image and click on save and now just click on the image section on the back side like this you can do on the back side also you can just delete the demo image and you can just add the back side image uh, image here for any product you can add like this you can add the back back side image of your product here and you can adjust everything now go to the product builder section and you can add more views here just click on product section and you can see add view here you can say uh, add some more views like upside downside or whatever sites you need you can just add on the view section you can add a basic image here and you can add one more side downside like this you can design any kind of product it's super simple once you are done that go to the section and you can see all the sides and you can see you can select that particular side and you can just start edit right
and this is the settings page of our plugin so you can just select all this ui composer and you can just select all these options according to your requirement you can change the layout of the composer you can just edit all these things and you can see the designs options and you can import some designs or you can just create the design so a customer can just add a designs to their product itself so this is a demo website so we are not doing that and this is the settings page of our plugin you can enable or disable all these options according to your requirement and the business model so it's super simple you can just check it uh, <coughs> all these settings here you can select all these settings here you can change the color options you can add the color for a particular product then you can just choose the color section here you can add the color you can add color codes here and the label option is available font option is available so you can add some default fonts you can add the custom fonts custom color etc you can add the color prices here so if a customer want a custom color they can choose but they have to pay all these options you can set up here once you are done that just click on the save option then only the changes will take place so make sure to do that and you can check all these options here and you can enable or disable all these options right and the text templates available you can add the text templates on the advanced section you can see the customization options okay guys now we can go to the product section of our woocommerce and we can see how to add a product now just click on products on the woocommerce settings click on add new and you can just add your product name here you can add a product name description you can add the variable option here you can also add the symbol product now we are adding a cast cartoon box with different sizes so uh, click on the attribute section and you can add the sizes of the particular cartoon boxes and you can add all the details here and just click on save attribute now just click on variations and import all the custom attributes here and you can see create from variation from all attributes and you can see all the variations here and you can just add all the variation images here you can add a basic image and you can add a price also we can choose a product from the product list which we added on the plugin so you can choose that on the variable image section so for each product you need to create for uh, the particular cartoon this is for the variable product but when you choose a simple product you can select one product itself okay cartoon box click on save changes now you can add the category and all other things are like all the woocommerce product it's so simple so you can add a product gallery image and the product image etc and here also you can choose a product for the mobile phone you can choose a product once you are done that you can just click on publish and you can view the product 
this is for the symbol product the for the symbol product also you can just edit all these things like this you can choose a particular product image you can set a product image and you can just add all these things as you are done on the variable products and now just click on update or publish and you can see the product ok guys now all our important topics are finished and now you can just try it on your domain and your hosting and you can start your business all the details for this website i will give on the description box below and you can visit our website on the wphacks4u.com thank you for watching the video if you like the video please subscribe the channel